Grace, peace, mercy be unto you from God, our Father, and Lord Jesus Christ. My name is Pastor Emmanuel Burton Anthony. Amen. Minister Keep Dogging. Press like, share, subscribe, get a notification every day yeah. that the voice of the prophet is on. Yes. Amen. 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 So that um, you can get these teaching. Yes. Amen. 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 We're going to talk on this Tuesday that favor come after praying. Favor Amen. come after praying. Yes. We left on Monday with the king asking uh, Nehemiah, what do you want? And he did not answer the king. He did not answer the king. Yes. But he prayed to God under his breath yes. and told God, if it's your will, God, yeah. that I go build back my city of Come Jerusalem. On. Yes. Come on. Let me have favor with the king. So we're going to... Um, uh, finish with um, 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 Nehemiah chapter 2 we're going to do verse 4 to 8 yes. again um, he beginneth with God's holy word then the king said unto me for what for what does thou make request so I prayed to the God of heaven right he prayed to God first yes. yes. and then he said unto the king if it pleased the king mm. see that right Yeah. if it pleased the king and if thy servant had found favor in thy sight, mm. that thou wouldest send me up, send me unto Judah, unto the city of my father's sepulchre, that I may build it. Remember, verse 5 is what he prayed to God yes. while men was asking him what he wants. Yes, yes. He said that I may build the city of my father's house. And the king said unto me, right, the queen also sitting by him, for how long shall thy journey be, and when will thou return? So it pleased the king to send me, and I sent him a time. Yes. yes. So we see that Nehemiah understood God's will, mm -hmm. right, by praying to God first, uh -huh. and then men confirmed what God always wanted for him. That's right. good. Come on, right? teach us. Teach so he prayed to God, if it's your will for me to build Jerusalem, yes, sir. let me go back to my family. And then he told the king. And the king said, okay, with the queen sitting by him, mm -hmm. how long you going to take me, my? Huh? Yes. Wow. Um, so in the a, in a message, he said, then the king, the king with the queen sitting, alongside him say how long will your work take and when you would you expect to return mm -hmm. i give him a time and the king gave his approval to send me why did the king gave the approval to send nehemiah mm -hmm. because the king see nehemiah was never looking for the king to do it but he was looking for god to come do on it now first. God, and if you're going to learn about favor, favor only comes about prayer. Yeah. Let me tell you something. Favor come only after prayer. Mm -hmm. And favor only come if it's the will of God. Amen. A lot of times, yeah. we mistake our will right. to be God's will. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes. God will favor you on the things that um, concerning him. Yeah. Right. Uh, a lot of us don't have a burden for the things of God. That's good. Why should God provide money just for you to build your life and you're, you don't have nothing in ministry, you go and tell God, I have a burden for the youth ministry, for this house to have something. Yeah, yeah. And then if it's your will that I be the avenue yes, God. on which it come through. Nobody hear me. Come on now. Sometimes you don't need a money first. Yeah. You need a prayer and a come burden. On, come on, come on, come on. A lot of times we, 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 the burden mm -hmm. should take you to prayer and say, yeah. God, give me favor to come accomplish on. well. So I can build a house where you put it. Yes, God. Why is God giving Nehemiah favor? Because mm -hmm. Nehemiah wanted to build Jerusalem. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Je Jerusalem was uh, 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 in the heart of God. Mm -hmm. Even though Jerusalem was obedient, uh, um, disobedient, God loved Jerusalem. Yes. He yes. built yes. Jerusalem. Yes. But Nehemiah was in a place 
where he wants to rebuild the people. Remember, Ezra delivered the people. Come on, yes, Nobody he did. did. Yes, he did. Come on, teach us. Ezra, this is the people that Ezra delivered to come back to Jerusalem, coming back home. Right? So remember the priests and the Levites? They all left. Yeah. They were, those are the ones who's coming back to Jerusalem. So, but now they're coming back to a place, they're strangers. Yeah. The gates are broken. Okay, mm -hmm. right. Chaos, right. no order. So now God used Ezra to deliver them and to bring them back unto Amen. God. Amen. Nehemiah now Amen. is set up to build what's come been on. delivered. Come on, come on. You understand that? Mm -hmm. So Nehemiah is not going. See, we think that Jesus. God blessed me for self and me alone. Come on. Okay. Why do you want it? Yes, yes. Come on, speak prophet. Some of us, we only ask God to bless us so we can send more. We ask God to bless us so you can go around telling people, look how blessed I am and highly favored. Look what I got, what I don't got. Where you actually don't have a burden for anybody else but yes. yourself. Come on. Yes, think, Lord. Come but on. you say, I want God. I want to have favor. Now, when you don't have favor, you think something is wrong with God mm -hmm. because the only person you were thinking about and believing in is you. Yes. Selfish. Nehemiah wanted favor yes. with the king, mm -hmm. right? So he can go back and rebuild mm -hmm. something that no, everybody walking around uh -huh. him, everybody seeing it, mm -hmm. but nobody had a burden to come build on, it. Come on, come on, come on, prophet. You talking? Everybody see the things in the church. Nobody got a burden. Mm -hmm. At least have a prayer mm -hmm. and say, God, Give me what I need yeah. to do something for this Come church and for this ministry yes, and to Lord. build this and to do this. God, there's people who need things in this uh, at this time. Give me the burden. I was um, listening to this pastor, I think Robert Morris, this morning. And he said he went to the mayor of, of Dallas to ask him, what can we do? And, and he was talking about that um, God has given us this city. Right, the city. Yes. And we can't wait for the people to come. We have to go to them. So he went to the mayor. He said, um, what can we do mm -hmm. to um, help the city? He said, well, the so uh, um, he said the Catholic Church have brought a whole bunch of Somalia's refugee into the United States. Mm -hmm. And he says, um, they stay to them. They, 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 they are warrior-like people, like in Africa, mm -hmm. Somalians. So they say they stay to themselves, but they're very violent. There's a lot of violence in the city, a lot of things going on. Okay. So he said, what did we do? Right. He said that we went to God and we prayed. Mm -hmm. We're not waiting for them to come to us, mm -hmm. but we're going to go to them. Mm -hmm. So what they did is they got a pastor, and they got a building in the Somalia's community. Okay. And they have an outreach, sending pastors mm -hmm. and leaders. How can we help you? What can we do? And then he said, now on Sunday mornings, a whole bunch of Somalia is at the church crying to Jesus and getting saved. Come on now, Why? Jesus. Because somebody had a burden mm. for something else. A lot of people say, I want money. Why should you have money? For you? Come on. And God, most of us, we broke. Because when you had money, God tested you and you spent it on, on your own come thing. Come on, come on. On self. Because when, let me tell you something. And I, I'm telling you, I've seen it throughout the years. The minute you got money, you start thinking what you're going to do for self. You, your first Come thought on. is not, what can I do for my house? Yes. What can I do for what feeds me spiritually? Yes, Lord. What can I do? Even some of you, the minute you have money, or don't let you have a little boyfriend. <laughs> you giving them everything. He ain't even married to you. You giving them everything. And then he takes it and he leaves you. Come on, you, you, tell the you, truth. You're helping somebody. Well, you're coming on, back. Prophet. At. You're ministering to somebody. Come on, teach us. He take your little thing, he's gone. To the next one. To the next one. Because this is, no, no, really. When God wants to test you financially, yes. he gives it to you. Yes. And he wants to see what you're going to do with it. Yeah, he does. Yes, mm -hmm. Come on, you're Come speaking on. real. This, this is this. He watches and says, let me see what they're going to do. Next thing you come, you come in here with a bundles of hair. You come here with, not really, thick furs. You come here with pocketbooks. 
with everything after you give the ministry five hundred dollars you on. give the ministry exactly your time you don't even say let me give beyond more than i should on, let me give yes. according to my heart not according to the law to the that's good according to the heart so so now you give just enough mm. so you can waste the rest right come on that's right there Need. So favor, mm -hmm. so don't don't think God is going to release favor to undisciplined people. That's right. yeah. Come on, you teach but he's going to release favor oh, to a people mm -hmm. that got a heart to build. Yes. Come on, and a mm -hmm. burden not for himself, yes. but a burden for others yes. who don't even know them. Yeah, right. yeah. Come on, Jesus. Hallelujah. Where's our burden? You know what our burden is? Self. What we can have, what we can't have. Can I say God can bless you? I believe when you have a burden, yes. you have so much yes. that you have no choice to be blessed. Yes. Yes. You have no choice for God to open doors. You have no choice. When when you're not thinking about self and your own thing. Yeah. I was watching this show called Time. Timeless. Um, it's, it's, a, it's about a show that um, people go back into the old days, right? Um, one guy went to the time of Harriet Tubman. And I know it's a, you know, it's a show, but I got something out of it, right? Yeah. right? He went to the time of Harriet Tubman, and Harriet Tubman was helping the slaves, mm -hmm. which is real, not fake. But he was, she was helping the slave uh, uh, under the uh, ground, uh, railroad, bringing them free. And, um, uh, and and she said to the guy, I seen you coming in a time machine, like in a big spare thing. I see you coming, and God sent you as angels to help me. And they was helping her because they knew the history. So, mm -hmm. sure. um, so they said to her, what can we do to bless you? Because you are the person that should be blessed above Come anybody on. else. Come on. And she said, I don't need anything. My, she, said, she said to him, I'm already blessed. Mm -hmm. My blessing is in helping others. Yes. Wow. Amen. See that, right? Yeah. Mm. My blessing, most of the richest people in the world did not have money. Yeah. Most of the um, um, blessed people didn't have physical money, but they were so much blessed and how they blessed others, mm -hmm. and they were blessed in heaven. Yes. Come on now. By yes. just doing. Mm. And doing, they got blessed. Yes. yes. And giving, they got come blessed. Come on, yes. come on. Nobody here. Mm. Yes. And this is why, as builders, we cannot build properly if you're just worrying about building. People are stealing bricks because to build their own things yeah. instead of building God's house. Yeah. Now look at this, right? You want to say something, Mr. No, King? Like they, 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 build, they, they, they steal them to build stuff. They steal them to build their own house. To build their own house. And you, you, like you said before, they're looking at me, myself, and I. But you know, I, I, look, I, look, I, I looked at what Nehemiah, like when um, I listened to you yesterday, when he, he felt the burden for the people. Yeah. And he began to, the way you said it, I, I, it just touched me, he began to cry. He began to cry. Do you know how many pastors left the ministry this year? Yes, sir. Yeah. Because their burden was never to build the kingdom of God, was to build their own kingdom. Come on. What, you know, what Ooh. God is doing is filtering out the Ooh. fake. Come yeah. on. You know, it, people talk about, you know how many pastors left? No. I would say, you know how many fake pastors left? Come on now, yeah. fix it. Yeah. You know, the real pastors are here. Right. Mm -hmm. The fake ones are gone. Yeah. Gone. Oh, you know how many pastors um, left the ministry? Well, they were never in ministry. Mm -hmm. Matter of fact, I don't think they were ever saved. They were businessmen. Come on. But Come the on. real pastors are on the front line. That's yes, right. Not, so you got to look at it. See the, dip, see, the devil will try to say things and make it look like there's a failure in the kingdom. No, we threw out the garbage. Yeah. So. Come Nobody on. said because we threw out the garbage today. God just revealed. Revealed. Mm -hmm. Oh, take out the garbage. 
Come on. Nobody's sad because garbage got taken out today. No. We, it, we Come on now. We put it out. That's yes. It. So don't get caught up even with the, with the, what you call it, the details of what's mm -hmm. going on. But you need to look at it in a different way and say that God has taken out what wasn't supposed to be yeah. and kept. And what remains is what's real. Right. Amen. And, um, and yeah. what remains yes, is God. what was real mm -hmm. all the, the time. Amen. He's hallelujah. We're not weak. Amen. We're strong. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. hallelujah. You, said, you said that don't get caught up in the call. Mm -hmm. With the bishop, the pastors, and different things. Don't get caught up in the call. But you got to understand who God, who God has chosen to be in that place, in that position. Well, look at this. Nehemiah did not have a title. That's true. Right. He, the title he had was the king cupbearer. Yeah. He was not a pastor. He was not a, 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 a apostle. He was not a bishop. He was not none of those things. Mm -hmm. He was a man mm -hmm. that had a heart for God. Yes. Right? And wanted to help God's people. That's yeah. it. You don't need to be bishop and evangelist to all of a sudden be in the church to want to be useful. Come on. What, what do we have to give you a title to do anything in God's church? We teach him prophet. This is all our inheritance, yes. all our vision. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, um, you come to church early because you had a title. You should have been coming to church early come if you on. got time. Come on. You should have been in God's house. If it's open mm -hmm. and you're home, you're not doing anything anyway but watching Netflix. Mm -hmm. You could watch Netflix and the day is not open. Come on. Open, come come on. If it's open, you should come here and do stuff. Yeah. It, well, there's nothing to do. Well, stand in the fellowship. Pray. Come here and pray all yeah. to do something. Teaching. You're teaching. Get down from the environment that you're in. Because yeah. people think that all of a sudden you got titles. You should do this. No, you should be excited about the things of God. Matter of fact, you should build without a title and say, I got a burden. Yes, and, and no pastor with a right heart if a person got a burden. That, that a title shall stop you from doing what God yes. put in your heart. That's right. Amen. That's right. That's right. That's right. Uh, except you don't come here and say, well, I got a burden to be a prophet. No, no, we're going to be taught because you're killing people there. You're speaking <laughs> crazy stuff, so don't start. No, we're going to get it right. You know what I'm saying? But, but anyway, um, get it right. Now, now look at this. Favor don't come because just like that, I hear people turn around, turn around, favor, favor. You don't want to do nothing. You don't want to help nobody but you, but you're going to turn. Because that's, those, those are the kind of teaching that creates um, uh, entitled saints. Big prophet. Wow. Who? Because you turning around, favor, because for you. But you ain't thinking about nobody. Yeah. Ooh. It's all about you. Come on, it's not about anybody else. Uh, Nehemiah left the best job mm -hmm. temporarily because he got favor. Mm -hmm. He left that job as a king cup. Man, that's a cushion. I eat what king eat. Mm -hmm. yeah. I drink what the king drink mm -hmm. before he. I get me a point. That's a job. <laughs> that's like being like the emerald or, or the guys who are on Food Channel to cook the food. I get the taste. Huh? He's a food taster. Yes, and good too. And good too. Okay, oh, the king. If it spread it out, let me eat it. Oh, mm -hmm. Thank yeah, you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. You like that. Man, Nehemiah could have been eating bumper and be like, let him die over there in Jerusalem. Who Seriously. cares? I'm here. I'm in the king's cat. I'm here safe. Nobody gonna kill me. I got my own room in the castle. I'm living in the castle. I got moat and alligators oh, out down, there. Prophet. Matter of fact. I got protection. I got a whole army surrounding me. I got no issues, no problem. Who cares about Jerusalem? Come on. I'm good. Who cares? I'm good. That's right. I don't have to worry about anybody or anything. My life good. Who cares about these people in Jerusalem? I haven't been there for the past 20 years anyway. Let them die. And sadly mis mistaken. That's our attitude in the church. Yes. That's our mindset in the church. Because God can bless us mm -hmm. because we so much thinking about your thing than God thing. Come on now. Come on now. You, you can. You might want to stay broke. That's why people in the church, that's all they think about. My thing. No burden for God. Yeah. No burden for soul. No burden for what God is yeah. burdened about. Yeah. Right, right, right. Come on. No desire for God. Mm -hmm. Want. We just 
selfish generation. Very true. Even the preaching, I get tired of it. Because even if I'm not careful, I'm a catered to that spirit. Because yeah. it always have to be about you. I got to preach about you. I can't preach about mm -hmm. God. Because I got to preach about you. Because if I don't preach about you, you ain't coming next week. Come on. Come on. Teach us. That so I got to, so, you know, I didn't, you know, I used to, you know, probably sprinkle a little here and there and break down a little bit, trying to figure out what I'm going to mm -hmm. do. And then not really talking about the things of the kingdom. Right, right, right. Because, because what excites you is you. Jesus. Mm -hmm. Come on. What excites you is self. What excites me is coming here and doing God's will. Yeah. It's not so much about how I feel, what's going on in my life. I've been thinking about me in a long time. I just want to do Him. And, and I want to do it in a greater level. God, what can I do? Show me. Yes, Lord. What can I do to please you? What can I do to yeah. really do what I got to do for you? Right, right. And yeah. I think that's the problem. You can't get favor. Mm -hmm. Right? You can't get favor. When the only person you think about is your yeah. welfare and your children and the people that's immediate to you. That's all you think about. The minute, you know, how, if I give you $20,000 right now, what's the first thought? Mm -hmm. right. See? Yeah, that's good. Come what's on. the first thought? Mm -hmm. yes. What you going to buy? What you going to buy for your house? What you going to buy for your kids? What you going to buy for this? What you think about that? What you going to do this? What you going to do this? What you going to do this? And how much I'm going to save? And then you talk about, okay, let me see the tithe and see how much I give the church. Okay, 20000 how much that is? Uh, 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 $2,000. Let me give $2,000 so that I ain't worrying about the church no more. But the thing is, in the New Testament, the whole thing belongs to God. Right. So yeah. you have to give according to heart. See, we don't even give according to heart. Mm. We just give according to law and just say, if I do this, right. then I can do anything else I want with the thing. So you said that now the church, that you got 20000 so so I'm going to give the church 2000 and the mortgage of the church is, is 3000 and then um, uh, and everything else that come. So let me tell you something. I give two thousand, and whatever else is their problem, then I'm do whatever. Come but you gonna say that's God and that's favor when you got something for a month to take care of the whole month yourself. Come but on. you're only thinking about you. And then by the time you 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 give two thousand, and then you spend eighteen thousand or seventy five thousand. And another two, three, four, five months, you back broke again. Because what you did is, according to the book of Haggai, you put in a hole, and what God did was blow on yes, it, yes. and it's gone. Somebody testify. Come on, Jesus. Speak, prophet. If you got, if you, if you got, Just, my thing, if you got $20,000, first of all, there's no way, how much, how much, how much the rent is in, in this church? In the church? How much the rent in the church? How much the light, the gas, whatever's in here that need to be paid. I, I'm, I'm pastor, um, your mortgage, um, can, I, can I pay your mortgage three, four Come months? On. Come on now. I pay my tithes, my offers. Just my thing to mm -hmm. you shouldn't even care if you got a thousand dollars left. Give, give everything. Yeah. But you see, the thing is that when Nehemiah yeah. asked God, got a burden. God didn't only give him favor. Yes. God gave him substance. Come on. Ooh. Because to rebuild a city yeah. is going to cost. Come on. Yes, it does. Ooh. So yeah. God will give you wealth if you got the right burden. Yeah. Yeah. The right burden. Now look at this. We want to close and we'll move on. Yes. But in um Moreover, I said unto them, if it please the king, let letters be given to me, to the governor beyond the river, that they may convey me over till I come into Judah. So he asked the king for a letter. So we talk about um, Nehemiah had contemplation of what will be. He said, give me a letter so I can pass through. Yeah. It's like having a passport, mm -hmm. right, to go through from one city to yeah, another city, deal. right? And a letter to Asaph, the keeper of the king's flowers. Come on. That he may give me timber to make beams for the gates of the palace, 
which are pertained to the house and for the wall of the city and for the house that I shall enter into. And the king granted according to the good hand of my God upon me. Yeah. Look at this. Now, um, can somebody in here find out how much timber that um, Nehemiah got and how much was the timber cost? How much it cost, cost now time the um, money the uh, temper that Nehemiah spent before I close, find it. Somebody find it for me and tell me. So all that, he said, go into the forest. If any, if, uh, uh, um, anybody ever build a house, trees is money. Yes, it is. That's what builds everything else. So Nehemiah didn't only get passport, but he got favor to the to go to the um. To, uh, uh, for Asaph, the keeper of the king's forest, that he may give timber to make beans for the gates of the palace, which have been tended to the house, and for the wall of the city, and for the house that I shall, um, that I shall enter into. Not only for he give them um, timber mm -hmm. to build the walls, timber to build the gates, but also timber to build his own house. Mm -hmm. And the king granted me according to the good hand of my God. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, God. So why did God give him favor? Not to do his own thing. That's why when we read the Bible, right? And we see that mm -hmm. and we apply it wrongly mm -hmm. when you don't have a burden. Yeah. Mm. That's good. Just for you. Teach us, Lord. I thank you. So when you get a burden for something else, mm -hmm. God now give you favor. How much was it? 200 dollars per thousand board feet. Okay. Me and I a wall. Okay. So how much is it at this time? How much money? Because that's a lot. Because that's almost, that's a lot mm -hmm. of money. Huh? Well, I don't know how big the wall is, but he got a, he had to go to a forest yeah. to get it done. Mm -hmm. To get it done. Mm -hmm. So I don't know how much. Mm -hmm. I'm going to throw some numbers. Yeah, like five thousand. No, 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 million. Mm -hmm. To build a wall, mm -hmm. to build a city gate, mm -hmm. to do everything else. Yeah. Yeah. We can. Yeah. Let's go to a million. Say, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Don't try to say, well, yeah. pastors. No, I, yeah. I'm just throwing a number in there. Right. Because you're talking about timbers, you're talking about mortars, you're talking about kind of things. Yeah. So you're talking about God did not only give him passport, but he gave him favor to be able to go get that job done. Come and on why now. did God release it? And let me tell you something. When God released him, uh, the king released the timber, not only for the wall, but also for him yeah. to get his own house. Yeah. You never do for God. And God don't bless you. At Come the end. on, that's a fact. Come on, Hallelujah. That is so true. Amen. Come on. Well, we're gonna stop right here, Mr. Keith. Maybe we could yes, find a little bit more deeper into it. Yes, but my name is Pastor Emmanuel, and I have to my left, Minister Keith Doggett. We have one thing to say to you: Jesus, Jesus is Lord. God bless you.